my team of six were protecting our brigade commander and we had an element of 28 coalition forces to include Afghan National Army and we were in Asadabad, a city of Asadabad, walking in down the street. The way we maneuvered up there, I I'd set up a uh, diamond formation. Inside that diamond I had my VIPs which included two brigade commanders, three battalion commanders, an Afghan general. We were going to a security meeting when we were targeted by two suicide bombers. They initiated it with motorcycles uh, as a diversion, but upon that situation happening, a man came out of a, a building. He was walking backwards, um, which was eerie, and then uh, started walking towards us. I left my post. As I maneuvered towards him, Sergeant Mahoney, to my left, uh, maneuvered with me. I uh, pushed him as hard as I could, and I wanted to, honestly, I just wanted to get him as far away from my guys as possible. And he had a dead man's trigger, which means he had already pressed the trigger prior to uh, walking towards us. And as he hit the ground chest first, he uh, let go of the trigger and he detonated. You know, I, I remember waking up and my leg had my fibula sticking out, the skin was melting, just blood everywhere. Next thing you know, I was picked up and I was you're getting statuses on the, on the situation, you know, who was uh, injured and who was killed. And that is when I found out that Command Sergeant Major Griffin, Major Gray, Major Kennedy, and USAID Rafael Abdel Fattah were all um, killed in action. We defeated the enemy on that day. And we sent a message that no matter how bad you want to hurt us, we're always going to keep standing up and we're going to bring it back twice as full on you. It was the worst day of my life because even though we defeated the enemy, I lost four of my brothers. This medal is not about me. It's about the four individuals that I lost. It's about them. It's about their families. It's about true heroes who sacrificed everything for their country. That medal represents them.